Medical News Today says that sedentary activities like sitting can put up to 40% more strain on your spinal discs than activities like standing. My name is Tessa and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the benefits of stretching in the mornings. I personally stretch every single morning and I've seen a great improvement in my posture, my flexibility, and my general mobility. So as college students, we spend a lot of time sitting in desks, whether it be in class, doing homework, or even at work. But regardless of what you're doing, sitting for hours can really affect your posture and bring about issues like back, neck, and shoulder pain, among other things. In addition, some of us are student athletes, and in this case, you know that warming up your body and muscles is a very important part of avoiding injury. This translates not only to athletes, but everyone should really be taking up some time to warm up their bodies for the day. The best way to do this is through stretching in the morning. As stated earlier, daily life activities can put a great strain on your body. So activities that are repetitive in nature and sedentary can really affect your body in the long term and it also creates some chronic pain. So if you're ever waking up and feeling a little stiff, you should stretch first thing in the morning. The benefits of stretching can range really widely. So South Dakota State University says that stretching can increase blood flow to the muscles and alleviate some tension. This is especially helpful in the morning since sleeping is a super sedentary activity. And this could also be helpful in the case of sitting for a long time because it can get blood flowing to the parts of your body that you haven't used in hours. Harvard Health says that sedentary activities can shorten your muscles actually, and without properly stretching them, you can be easily injured. Athletes know this struggle well just because they're commonly advised to stretch before and after a workout. And this can apply to the average person because your muscles can actually become strained during any activity. So just as an athlete has to warm up before a workout, you should warm up your body before your daily activities. And then of course, there's the obvious benefit of stretching, which is flexibility. But more importantly, it increases your general range of motion just because you do stretch out those muscles and so it's easier for you to move around. Not only are the benefits physical, but they're also mental. Once again, South Dakota State University says that stretching can relieve stress. And also building stretching into your morning routine can really result in having some time to reflect and feel present because between work, school, and social life, it can sometimes be hard to find time in your life to decompress. And setting aside that designated time every single morning to stretch and think not only ensures that your body is well taken care of, but it also ensures that your mental health is taken care of. So now that we've stated the benefits of stretching, how do you implement that into your daily life? First of all, one of the most important things here is to create a routine. So morning is the perfect time of day just because it allows your body to warm up. And now that we've picked a time, you have to stick to it. You don't necessarily have to do a whole full body stretch that takes 30 minutes to half an hour, or sorry, 30 minutes to an hour, because Family Doctor actually recommends that you stretch about three times a week at least for 15 to 20 minutes at a time. More is better, but three times is the minimum. Southern Spine Institute says that you should focus on your back to help improve posture and pain. So for you specifically, you can always find a different part of your body that needs it and focus on that part of your stretch. In your actual stretch routine, first should be active stretching. Harvard Health says that your muscles should be warm before stretching so that you can also avoid injury. So try doing things like head circles, arm circles, or light body weight exercises like squats, for example, before stretching. Some target areas to stretch are your hips, back, shoulders, hamstrings, and quads. Those are all really important in your posture and your general mobility. So settle into each one of those stretches for about 30 seconds, and if you're doing a stretch that only impacts one side of your body, make sure to do it on the other side as well. Now, even though stretching is good for you, it's important not to overdo it and to stay safe. So if a stretch is overtly painful, make sure to not push yourself any further. And if you hear any popping noises or feeling any tearing sensations, family doctor says to stop immediately and contact a health a healthcare provider. And if you have any pre-existing injuries, make sure to contact your doctor about stretches and you can find out what stretches will help you and not harm you. So. 
In conclusion, in conclusion, stretching is a really important part of your morning routine. It can definitely get the blood flowing and it can help you prevent any injuries in the future and help you increase your general mobility. So that is my speech and thank you for listening.